Hey everyone, how many times have you practiced something from when you were very small, practicing to ride your bike, practicing your phone, your iPhone, your Android, practicing with your computer, when you get new programs? Oh, how does this work? How often do I have to practice it to get it right? what I've noticed is that the goal has to be something that you really desire in order to put in the practice and I think that business is a bit like this you have to be willing to practice new skills in order to be the best that you can and to bring your best self to your business have you ever thought of it like that you know when you think of martial arts, yoga, Pilates, all these kind of things, how we're willing to practice and practice and practice. I guess in a classroom, there's a competitive thing going on. Who knows? Because maybe all of those people are practicing to get it perfect or maybe not. Depends totally on you, doesn't it? And I was thinking about practice with business. And sometimes I've just had to keep practicing to learn new skills, just from computer programs, writing, social media. My goodness, the list goes on and on and on, doesn't it? And what I've noticed is that quite often we expect that we should know everything. So I'd like you to entertain this whole notion of practicing. Practicing. Practice relaxation. <laughs> Practice mindfulness. Practice, practice, practice. Maybe that's what it's about. I've been thinking that maybe it is. Now it's all personalized. It's up to you the way you deal with things, whether you're a perfectionist, a pleaser, a pretender. Oh my goodness, there's a few different variations of business owners out there. So my invitation to you today is what about giving it a go? Practicing new things in your business. I'm all the time learning new things, but I don't get them first time around. Have you noticed that about you? You have to have a go a few times and that's because you're willing to practice, to make things awesome in your business. Maybe you're wanting to scale up, maybe you're just wanting to learn new skills. I remember last year when I got a new computer, I was like, oh my gosh. And, you know, my age group, these things, I have to consider that takes me a bit longer as compared to 20-year-old or a 6-year-old. <laughs> That's really interesting, isn't it, to compare. Not that I do compare across the board, but I notice that they're a bit snappy about things, as in they do things quickly. So at, as an older person, I had a bit of a stutter there. I was thinking what to call myself, but let's just call myself an older person. I'm willing to practice. So I love my business. Do you love yours? Are you willing to practice to make it everything that your heart desires? Or are you giving up? Don't give up. Just keep practicing. Yes, I believe it probably does make perfect, but it depends on your view of perfect. So that's my invitation. Practice, practice, practice whatever it is. A new skill, a business, something like yoga, Pilates, that kind of thing. Racing car driver. I just read a story about someone, an older person today, taking on racing. Can you imagine it? <laughs> That really made me giggle. I hope it puts a giggle, a giggle, a smile on your face, but it also inspired me deeply. Once again, my invitation is have a go at practicing. This is Mary Scott. Be sure to subscribe, click the little button, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.